next 15 minutes kind of rolling through these fairly quickly. Sure. Um, Odell Beckham Jr. on the Browns trading block, question mark? Uh, yeah. You know, there were reports, obviously, that's been trending, that's been a, a big deal here lately. Uh, I I don't know if it's legit or not, and you came across some information that was uh, was telling. Go ahead and fill me in on this. So I woke up this morning, I saw all this, and I immediately got pissed off first because I saw it was for a second and a fifth, and I thought every receiver out there this year has gone for a first. We can't get a damn first for a guy who I believe at his peak is better than both those guys. Yeah. I think he's the most athletic receiver. If he can be healthy, which I don't think he's – I think he's healthy. I think the reason he sucked last year was because Baker sucked. I, I And Freddie yeah. Kitchen was they, – they had a 1,000-pound anchor called Freddie Kitchen, and and Baker Mayfield um, was just terrible. And, you know, so, so that's just part of it. Um, and it's not like this would be a salary dump either because, like, they got cap space. Well – a yeah, they've got cap space, and B he makes he's he's probably the best receiving contract that you can have right now. Um, he makes substantially less. I mean, his his average salary is around thirteen to fourteen million a year, and these other guys are making sixteen million dollars. Yeah, plus twenty twenty is the last year of all his guaranteed money, but he's locked up through the year of twenty twenty three. So you've got him free and clear after that. If he's good, if he stays great, then you have him for a really, really uh, valuable contract. And if he ever starts being a problem again, or you need to dump him or trade him, he's easy to trade or cut because he costs you nothing after that. You got uh, no dead money after. So, so he's so much more valuable in all of those aspects than Hopkins or Diggs is because of the money. Um, and, and so I was pissed off. And I don't know why they're getting rid of him when we don't we don't know what this team could actually look like without an idiot running it, okay? So anyway, this afternoon, a lot of tweets start coming in and a lot of information starts coming in. News from the Browns organization, the media from the Browns, very, very close beat writers um, working with them, saying, look, we haven't heard anything. No, we don't know where this information is coming from. Then you go to the beat writers from Minnesota who also work very close to the team. If you watch some of these teams, you'll see Adam Scheffner and the big guys, Ian Rappaport, breaking big news. Some of the teams, it's always a local beat writer that breaks the news. Cleveland and Minnesota are two teams that work with their beat writers to get them hits and access more than most do and everybody has said these two teams aren't talking Th- this this conversation just didn't happen and then they all believe this was all made up by a, a radio guy out of new york and the only the only logical reason anybody can think of this is is you've got some dude that's butthurt that's a butthurt giants fan that wants to stir the pot and and throw odell's name out there as if things are a problem and it's that kind of stuff that just pisses me off because, A, I've spent all day cussing my own team now trying to figure out <laughs> what the hell is going on in Cleveland. And then now I come to find out it's just a dude, and then I'm defending Odell again because since he's left New York, he hasn't been a problem. Yeah. I mean, if you're he right. wanted to be a diva, if he really was a problem, last year was a spectacular chance for him to be a problem he, because he could his have quarterback talked a was lot. trash and his head coach was the dumbest head coach to ever don a headset in the NFL. And I, he was pretty kosher the entire year. Yeah, he. The, you never really heard any issues out of him all year. It, it I was, think it his was problems strange. were in New York. Uh, you're and probably he's right. Not there anymore, and I think he's going to be just fine. And if some, t- if Cleveland did decide to trade him, then great. I hope he goes somewhere that's not a mega city like that, where he can stay clean and stay cool, and and do a great job. I want him to stay in Cleveland. I really want to see what this ship can look like with a competent and, head coach. And I've told you, the Baker thing doesn't scare me anymore. One, I know this sounds insane, but once they once they signed. Uh, my brain just went away again. Uh, Case Keenum. Case Keenum. 
Yep. Because Stefanski knows if Baker can't cut it, but this team looks good and they're poised to go on a run, I'll yank that kid in a second. Yeah. Because I got a guy who I know knows the offense. Yeah. A guy that, that can obviously run what he does. Yeah. yeah. I, so Baker will either get better or he'll sit down. Yeah. And I, I, I think, I mean, Case Keenum, like he's he's good enough that guys like Odell Beckham can can make him better. Yeah, you know? and they've shored up this offensive line. Makes me so happy. They've spent so much money in free agency on offensive linemen. I, I don't even know where I'd want to go in this draft. Once I'd probably draft another O lineman because the rest of our O line are really expensive right now. Yeah. And I, it's one of those things where if we get into cap trouble, if we draft somebody and they're a stud, we can trade. A the O linemen have great value. So yep. we could trade an offensive lineman for for something and free up some cap space too. Not a bad um, idea. That that would be that would be my my pick. I, I don't know offensively. I'd take anybody else. I mean, I really don't. I, I think, mean, they're they're pretty stacked on offense and defense. I mean, they got talent be, across yeah, the board. I really. I mean, a perfect scenario. I want Simmons to fall, but Simmons ain't falling to ten. No, I, just, I, I think I think Simmons ends up going like top six, top seven. I do. No, I do too. I, yeah. Now, if he falls, if he falls. Nobody. Will Somebody's be coming up to get him. Like somebody will up. be happier. I, I don't. I don't want the Browns to waste any more draft capital to move up to try to get him. But I'd sure love to have him fall. Oh yeah. No. I. I, I think everybody. Would. If they could listen like, now, if they could be some being, dirty pool. He may be the best player in the draft. Nasty rumors yeah. about Simmons out here to make him fall. If <laughs> anybody's got a picture of him in a bong gas mask, I'll take it right now. There you go. There you go. Not uh, upset about it. Let's. Hey, let me. Let me ask you this right quick. What do you think okay. about the Browns' new uniforms? I like them. I, 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 I don't think they're new. I think they're well, it's, it's classic back to like yeah. the traditional, the classic, and I like it a lot. Yeah, I, I didn't notice a, a humongous difference. I'm, uh, but I, I, I like for it for uniforms. A lot. I'm either traditional. I, I don't, I don't ride the middle of the fence with uniforms. I either like teams that do super new, modern things, Seattle when they go crazy and so like that. Or I want traditional classic. Yes. I If you try to do a little modern with the traditional, I think it always looks weird. Like Atlanta? <laughs> I don't like Atlanta's at all. But the Falcons look I, like now, trash. It's hard for me to separate because I like to make fun of Atlanta. I, I like to make fun of the Falcons. I think I everybody does. I don't know like, why. It's I, They never did anything wrong to me. I think Atlanta's one of the most fun cities to go yeah. hang out and garden and I, in. I like the Falcons. I've always liked the Dirty Birds. Like I, yeah, I, I, know, I got, but I, I know, but I, I make fun I like of them the all the time. Like I like, I, but but I'm gonna crap on the Falcons. I think Matt Ryan's a nerd. I just think he's a, <laughs> I just think he's a goofy. He's a dork. Matty Ice. He's a dork. Somebody's put him in a locker. Yeah. Matt, he's Matty just, Ice. He's uh he, he's fun. I mean, Matty it, Ice. He's not Matty Ice. I know, right? It's, it's a cool but that's nickname. nickname. It's, <laughs> Ice Man was cool. He is not cool. Yeah. No. <laughs> Nobody has ever gone out with that guy and been like, you know what? He's really cool. Uh, Michael and jumped like, in. He's a really nice guy. Yeah, that's pretty much it, right? I took uh, him for a thousand dollars. Michael said the Falcons do look terrible. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Um. All right, so let's let's move on. Topic number three or four or whatever. 